What's up guys, it's Mr. Javid and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. You know what time it is, Uber Sunday. My apologies for no upload yesterday. Uh, it is what it is. But we're back on track. And so, we'll be featuring Volcarona in today's Sunday. You know how we do for Sunday Uber Lies. Even if you're not an Uber, um, you know, if you're not somebody who enjoys Ubers, or I don't say doesn't enjoy, because you wouldn't watch. But if you don't necessarily play Ubers, or it's just a tier you watch because I play it, um, you know the vibe of the Uber lies is what most people tend to come for. They, they do tend to have a, a, a slightly different vibe. Um, it's a breath of fresh air as you begin your week. Um, that's how I like to see it. And yeah, it's just, just dope. So this guy is 1609, I am 1569. Have fun, bro. As we're gonna wind down into this. Shout out to DNNP, my Uber um, headmaster, worst headmaster of all time because he doesn't post any teams, but you know, he does his thing. Um, as I'm looking at my opponents here, I wonder if people are using like Scarf Marshall. That would make sense for Volk. Because what I'm looking at here is like, okay, boom, get up a spike, and I just quiver dance versus. What would likely be Mew, and I just Dynamax sweep. Um, obviously, that would not work if it's a choice card, Marsh Mar Shadow, Mar Shadow. And if it's a choice card, Mar Shadow, he might outspeed Drill at plus one. I don't know the speed tiers. But very cool team, and he's, you know, he has some points on him. So let's defensively check. Um, do we have Toxic? We don't, so we cannot touch Mar Shadow with this Scarm set. Uh, Marsh out is a pretty big problem to us as well, so I am surprised that I can't touch Marsh. I don't think Whirlwind is as necessary on Skarm at the moment, but I mean if you're using Baton Pass or something, I can see that being a case. And so, um, Dragovish, Dragovish is a bitch. And so what I'm going to do here is, I um, actually did not expect Mew. Um, what's more more sets? I wrap spin on this and it's life orb. He doesn't have a ground, like this is his only thing that can take a ground move. Um, and so, you now obviously here, heat hazard stack. This is a question after the fact of whether or not, oh, I mean, you know, he doesn't really want me to copy his Mario Shadow bulked up either because he's very weak to ghost. Um, obviously Volk doesn't give a fuck about rocks and so the only thing that rocks really matters versus is nothing I don't think he can even touch me yeah um, I probably should think more long term than I am than I, than I am thinking rather um, but as I said before poltergeist oh that's something that people are running now that's kind of cool so we're gonna roost here um, obviously Skarm Skarm does what Skarm does I don't have Hazard Control outside of Excadrill, so my opponent, I'm glad that he's Life Orb because that does mean that with my Vocal Run of Quiver Dance, it's a Rapatui. Rapatui. Um, hmm, definitely going to be staring down a Mewtwo, so this is a question of. I think Marshad, I don't think I need to rush. Uh, stare down Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Scarf, D Max. Mewtwo, Mewtwo D Max, Mewtwo versus Drill. Sorry, I'm trying to head calc this. Um, mm -hmm. I was just debating whether or not. Um, I think I will go on a rampage here if he's life or, but he should take at least two rounds. I don't think he'd ever focus blast um, as he goes for taunt. Um, and we're free to just click Quake here. Oh, he's reflect Mewtwo. And so. Perhaps some variant of reflect, taunt, reflect. There's no way fire blast is his other move. Um, Cause I don't have defog and I would want if, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go to my Excadrill here. Uh -huh. uh, Life Orb Drill should do it again, but he's a fucking, um, gonna rapid spin here iron defense okay so he's he's that set okay which i don't mind um and i figured something along this line might be possible as well um but my skarm does have sturdy and i can just go for whirlwind and get rid of this 
uh yeah so that's dope um as t targets to come back up i set sand back up and so i get rid of his hazards which is a pretty big deal as he manages to light screen um he may taunt he may not uh let's see i'm gonna snarl first right and then i'm gonna go hard extra drill here uh, because his reflect is about to wear off and i want to position drill in versus whatever he has left unless he goes to dracovish or crocodile drill is gonna merc whatever he goes to yeah and so i could swords dance here mm. swords dance means because i don't think even after iron defense i have two to five turns i don't have enough turns to really take advantage of that i'll just earthquake um there's no real point in me as the uh, that's not true that's not true uh there is a point in me sd um but he gives me mewtwo but see like right there if i sd i would have gotten one kill now he's forced to go to whatever he's gonna go for for his check right and in this case it's gonna be dracovish um i've already confirmed what his mcguna set is and so i can trick shut that down um or i can snarl spam or i can volcarona destroy and so obviously he still has a screen up. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do, you know, Fishes Run is always what you're gonna click, always. And he's banded. Um, and so obviously he's gonna be wary of me potentially um, outraging him. Under no, or under no circumstances am I gonna outrage either way. Um, I'm definitely gonna just Fishes Run back. Cause he, yeah. I was wondering if I would be able to force his Dynamax. I didn't think he would. Um, but it's good that I was able to because my ditto isn't as useful um, Skarm beats everything left except well everything left quite frankly um, And so my ideal situation is to Volcarona destroy him obviously I think I can do so with just Dynamaxing at this point um, semi wary of Crook but Because this likely has crunch but Fortunately, Skarmory is a beast, and what I can do is just roost. Max Geyser sucks. Um, but I do get to stall out the whirlwind. Probably like, damn, why do you counter here? But it's down to max, it's not gonna do shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I can counter him now, but I think a better decision would be. Mm, let me think. Counter kill. We're staring down Marshadow. No, I don't think that's better. Because what I want to do is get the free switch into Lunala so I can just go for Moon Guy's Beam. Mm. I'm tripping. I don't need Sand Rush's Drill Speed. Not the way I'm planning to end game this. So I'm going to take away his reign. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to lose my item, but, um, yeah, uh, once he loses this, he can't even beat my Skarmory. Um, and so there's no way he was going to switch there because I could have gone for Moonblast, uh, Shift Gear Stored Power, and so Volt beats, mm -hmm. and so we get to go hard, uh, Skarmory here, uh, or do I, actually, it might be better to sack this go drill eq but shadow sneak plus and an eq and then we're staring down crook versus mag mag then volk if i go skarm here and he bulks up does that matter nope it doesn't yeah doesn't matter in fact i can start spiking um even if he bulks up this turn mm -hmm. so he's crit fishing and because of the sand damage it's not in his favor and so we're gonna spike here he's not gonna go for a boosting move i'd assume right um and so now we can whirlwind spam and there's literally nothing he can do uh pull the guys close combat roost is the best play here roost into that's a spike i'd assume this is four attack maybe he still has spectral thief but he's running three attack ghost. Let's see. Cause Skarm is doing its damn thing right now. Yeah, it seems to be a three attack ghost set. Um again, 
not the most familiar with the metagame at the momento. No reason not to roll in here. None. I mean, even if he did, even if he did, uh, so I'll spike here. Yeah. And I can counter kill this. Um, mm -hmm. we'll spike here. Because it's doing so little, even with a crit, right? A crit just does 35%. And so <clears throat> we're gonna, um, yeah, it's over because we counter here. Uh huh. Wow, that does just embarrassing amounts of damage. That's obviously he's gonna sack, he's not gonna sack Magirna, he's gonna go Magirna. Um, and then we just hard Volk, yeah, no matter what he did there. I'm surprised he baton passed, but um, we just go back to. Yeah, we go drill here in case you have like a rock move. Drill is perfect positioning. Um, mm -hmm. If you darkest Larius, that just means that Dynamax. And uh, let's uh, flare. Oh, he's Scarf. Hmm. Good game. Forgot that he got the Moxie boost there. Shouldn't have like, given him. I know Volk would have eaten it, but um, I forgot about Moxie. So, yeah. Dynamax Volcarona is a monster. But yeah, we had to play that one to where, you know, when you lack information, when you lack information, meaning like you just don't know what things do, like if you venture into a new metagame or something, it's always best to kind of, I mean, I guess you kind of have to have at least some base information. Otherwise, you know, when you're venturing into a new metagame, it's best to just kind of make up your mind that you're going to lose um and just view it as a learning experience you know the motto here or not the motto but something we emphasize repeatedly is to embrace losses and no not overly identify with them um you know like the, click the link in the description below about um read the article on how the pokemon can make you a millionaire and that article will explain everything um and provide a lot of insight particularly for those if you're somebody who you know you really want to get into mind but you feel anxious as you start to get on the ladder or right as you're about to click find battle you feel like this anxiety or you know like you know whether or not you're in battle or something and basically if you feel anything other than sheer bliss and i mean if you're playing a tournament game or something you know there, there's going to be a natural kind of nerves nervousness uh, that's gonna come along with that because it's something that matters to you um, but if it's just a general ladder game and you're experiencing that it's a symptom of something else um, and so I wrote that article to help players with that and so my next big project is gonna be one um, the Pokemon players journey uh, and so uh, schedule has been hectic I'm um, gotta build for World Cup. Gotta catch up with the meta game. Gotta record, and all these things. And so, and then you know, obviously, my actual life <laughs> stuff. And so it's, it's it's hectic, but it's a good hectic. Um, it's things I want to do. So, uh, got a good time coming up. All right. So Volcarona, um, Bomb Cover Dancing. Assuming it's a Scarf Dog Trio will not do the trick um, unless I Dynamax. Even then, I'll probably take a big chunk. Um, and if that's something like been watching too much VGC, uh, Tailwind, Whimsicott, then you know even more so that's gonna be a thing. Cause what the fuck is a Whimsicott doing here? Um, I mean he is 1357, so but he has no Ghost Resist, which is very very big, um, very very big. Uh, that's what she said. Um, I need a Hazard up. That way my Excadrill can ravage his team. Hazard plus Excadrill just eats him alive, like quite literally eats him alive. Um, I have to have that in conjunction with Skarmory, which helps me beat everything that can come in, namely Ditto. That can be my um, my Excadrill. Um, Tyranitar's core purpose is Chandelier Trappage. Um, Lunala just wins and Volcarona just wins. So these two I'm going to kind of keep in the back until I gather enough information. Um, and so the biggest problems to me initially are going to be either a Doug Trio or a... Zacian um, lead situation. Mm. You'd say, well, Skarmory makes sense, right, Jim? 
yes and no. Um, yes and no. can't beat me so so I'm actually gonna go with Tar um, because I figured well if he leaves Doug Trio um, well if this is Sash assume Sash um, if this is a Sash set then Volk already won the game with Rocks up unless he Dynamaxes that that Chandelure and the way he's playing it seems like it's Sash uh, otherwise, I would have been able to go dead on just catch him here. Um, as far as I could tell, oh, Whimsicott learns Z-Fog. That would be pretty annoying if he has Z-Fog on that. Uh, but now he goes hard Chandelure, which you know, isn't good for me. Um, but we're going to go hard Ditto. If he shot a ball, it's quality play, quality play. But that does unleash my Excadrill. And as I said, we can't allow for... Um, we can't allow for Dynamaxes. So he uses D-Max right there. He's not flash fire and he gets a crit. So obviously I'm Scarf, Infiltrator, Imposter. Um, I'm not overly concerned with this ditto. Oh, almost. See, Max Phantasms. Um, unfortunately though, the sun is gone. But I could D-Max here and Max Rockfall, but I don't think it's time. One, because I don't kill Wabba Fit and that'd be a waste of my Dynamax. Um, hmm. This is tough. This is tough. Because uh, I have Dynamax, so his data is a non factor if it's a Volk Boost. I just don't know what the Whimsicott wants to do. Because uh, it could Memento, it could. There's a lot of little things Whimsicott could do. And so at this point, what I'm looking at is Skarm cannot be touched. I'm very surprised he switched. Um, so Wild Fed is no longer a factor, which means Excadrill is a big deal right now. Very surprised he did that, especially because he doesn't know if I'm Scarf and because Chandler dies to hazards. Um, so we're going to find out what the Whimsicott does. I'm glad he went Whimsicott early. Um, Defog, okay, so that's this game. So that, that's again, I said that right then. I was like, well, I guess Whimsicott could be a Defogger. Um, and so I sacked not both hazard control. I don't think he realizes that this cannot be trapped. And so we're back with our spike. Um, unfortunately, this might mean that Chandelure gets to rear his ugly head. Um, but it does mean Dugtrio Sash is gone as he goes to Zacian crowned. Um, Chandelure is now dead, which means once Zacian gets countered, this game is over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems to only be able to. So I'm going to roost here. Um, surprise, he just went for. Roost is still the player. All I need to do is click counter. Because um, Dugtrio can't beat Lunala. Lunala beats the rest of his team. So I guess the defense drop. Um, and we're going to counter here. I just need it to be yeah, like at least 25% to beat that Dugtrio. Um, if he saw his answers, so be it. Uh, there's just no point in me switching. Uh, very interesting decisions. Very, very interesting decisions. I'm not sure what he's going to do next. Uh, if he dittos, uh, he's obviously going to spike up. But then he just lost. Yeah. Oh, he whirlwinds. He's going to perpetually whirlwind. Okay, I'll just wrap his spin here. Uh -huh. And so obviously Scar just wins now because Aishan is dead. And he can't switch. He can't trap drill. So that's game two. Very, very odd game. Um, even though I technically don't have to switch to win. Um, it's just the correct play. As he rock slides. My guy is crazy. Um, but he got the prediction right. So at that point, Lunala won, Skarm won, several things won. So you want to make, mitigate as much luck as possible. Um, you never know if there one he wasn't scarf ditto, you know, like you, have, you just want to mitigate the luck. Shandy took that shadow ball far less well than I thought it would do. I thought it would do, I mean, I guess 65 is pretty high. Uh, I mean, Shandy Lori is quite strong. 
and it's not the bulkiest thing it's not frail though but it's not the bulkiest thing in the world and so as we move into this one uh volcarona dynamax volcarona is looking handsome um but the only way i'm gonna set up volk is if i am gonna dynamax uh, i guess not because i mean i could because volk can only touch my volk with a fire move i mean did Volk, you know what i'm saying um and so i could go tar on that and shut that shit down um but volk late game is definitely a pop potentiality uh we gotta find out whether Mars shadow is good and i mean i can i guess restaurant can be somewhat of a setup fodder so uh i mean even that you know isn't the best isn't the safest i think the bug one drops special attacks i can use that lower special attack all the technology we have we possess it all and so Looking at this, Skarman conjunction with Tyrant Tower Walls, it's the entirety of his team. I just need one spike up. Um, the only things that can stop me from getting a spike up are um, this and this. And obviously, I have a this. And then if I get rocks up, same shit. But I'd rather spikes because his team is grounded and two, three of his mods resist um, rocks. And so after that, Excadrill just ravages this team um quite literally and so I, I might not even ever use lunala even though he doesn't have a good ghost resist uh, but i just don't comment on too much barring this and i'd rather get up a ton of spikes while i'm doing that so um as i said only two things and the other upside is i know he's gonna have to go for flamethrower um and which allows me to well i guess one thing could be that would be annoying is toxic spikes but I'm not game changing. Well, not as game changing as it will be when I get up my hazards, which will eradicate any focus sashes um, and will hit Reshiram at a core level. You know what I'm saying? It's going to hit him at the core of his being. I'm really enjoying this live right now. Like, meaning just playing the game. Like, not even the wins. And so, um, shows the life for, which is good info for me. Um, which means he's not a bulky, fat, nasty variant. Um, which means T-Tar perpetually walls. Now he could try to double down. Okay, so that's rocks and spikes. Um, his rocks, again, not as influential. They do matter because T-Tar has to switch in on them. That's a 12% I'd like to keep. But I think in the grand scheme of this trade, um, me having spikes uh, is a lot better. Now, one big downside here is the fact that he can go hard rush around here. My sand turn is going to wear off soon. And so, um, what I'm going to end up doing here is actually roosting because the sand turn is going to wear off if he goes to rush around. Yep. And so now I can get the rush around. I mean, the tyrant of tyrant. We sand up and then we can just rest. Rest! And so this has enough damage on it to wear. Um, you know, Volcarona after Equip Dance beats, especially if he Draco locks, then if that Marshadda is in Scarf, this game is over, as he has Defog, okay. Either way, um, get the rocks back up. I'm surprised he's Defog. It's some weird Defoggers here. Uh, not even weird in the sense that, like, Reshiram is a uncommon Defogger, but it doesn't even have Heavy Duty Boots, you know? And so... Um, we're going to rinse and repeat as he's going for the I'm going to T-Wave you and you're going to enjoy it route. But it's good to know that he has Thunder Wave and Knock Off. Particularly Thunder Wave because that means Volcarona is not straight set up fodder versus Necrozma. Um, and so the rest of ramp comes back out. Um, again, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go into Tar on this. But he likely will have Roost or something of that nature. Um, yep. And so this allows me to Earthquake, as I'm assuming he's going to defog. Didn't want to take this Draco meter, but I don't have a switch in. Um, and I think Draco plus Earthquake will give me his rest around anyway, and then I can rest. Um, no, nah, he just goes for... Hmm. He could roost. Even if he does, though, he'll be lower than what, yeah. Um, so Draco is going to do 30-something... That was a very smart, that turn was smart to Draco. Um, because I don't have sand. And mm, if he defogs here, I'll regret it. Because I don't get to rest, and that's very important for his 
Eternatus, which is a problem otherwise. Um, and so I guess I don't need rocks. Um, resting is far more important here. Actually, he Draco's. So he made the wrong call there, or you could say I made the right one. So if he defogged there and I stealth rocked as I started to regain leftovers, then I could rest on the right turn. Uh, but it made sense for him to assume that I was going to do that anyway. Because one, you're going to be like, okay, well, very surprised he knocked there. I don't understand the knock decision. Uh, if you knew I was going to go Skarm, you definitely need to double. So one mind that can touch my Skarm is now dead as Eternatus rears his ugly head. Um, always going to go Tar because by the time this wakes up, it's a done deal. Um, and Ditto, the way it's going now, if Ditto copies the right map, I'm on. Dynamax Cannon was smart there, but because Tar are so damn bulky, your boy eats three. Your boy eats three. Yeah. So I actually get to take one more. No. But even if I don't take it, it's not as mad. Ah, it does matter. It does matter. That's not true. Because this is my sand setter. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This is tough. Hmm. Yeah. This is my sand setter, and drill is just way too good. I don't want drill to switch out Dynamax Cannon. Because it gives him a little bit of wiggle room. Hmm. Gives him a little bit of wiggle room. Especially because Drill sets up on his Necrozma from the looks of things. Um, I can't understand Storm. And I only get one kill with Drill. Hmm. This is tough. I guess I needed to, if I was gonna go to drill, I should've went to it the turn, like this turn. But no, it went this turn, the turn that he just attacked. I didn't factor in the fact that I haven't taken any sleep turns. Mm. How do I wanna pull this off? Unfortunately, like the way it's looking, like I might have to give up folk. So I didn't wanna do, um, did not wanna do. Yeah. Did not want to give up the Volkster. Um, but it's just a smarter decision for me to defensively win this game. Um, it's just it's just wiser. And so uh, I'm going to spin because it guarantees that the, the Ditto has to come in. If I Earthquake there, he'd have went Marsh Shadow, which I don't want. And I want his Ditto in um, so I can go to my Lunala. I mean, he could opt for rap, going hard for rapid spin. It's up to him. Depends how big his balls are. But if he EQs as I go to Skarmory, he's in a really bad spot. Um, oh, so he goes Necrozma. This boy is crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's a crazy boy. Um, so I'm assuming he has Earthquake because otherwise, what stops me from just killing this? Um, and at the rate it's going, if I copy either Marshadow or Horrors Asian at this point, um, I'm going to sweep him with Ditto. Really, copying Zacian is the goal in life. But Marshadow can hex my Skarm, um, whereas it can't hex the sand off my drill. And so I'm going to go hard Lunala here. Um, guarantees a KO. Uh huh. Uh, and so Moon Guys Beam obviously into Earthquake should do the trick. Sacking Tar coming back. Uh huh. And so this is dead now. Moon Guys Beam did nothing, man. I wouldn't be surprised if this lived. But I, again, I don't know why he'd go Necrozma to knock off instead of going to one of his threats. Um, that could just kill me. I guess he's trying to stop the Ditto copy, which, you know, has sense to it. Uh, so now he has the opportunity to ditto copy and spin, but it goes for Marsh, which I expected. Uh, and so, because he's not trying to have me copy Zacian, so I'm like, if I sack T-Tar, 
go back to drill, get a kill, force Ditto copy, and then he's gonna have to give me Zacian. Yeah, especially if you close combat. Unless he gives me Zacian now, which would have some sense to it. Because you want Mars Shadow. I think Mars Shadow has a slightly better chance, but the problem is it's gonna have to come in on spikes and rocks. Um, and I still have my Dynamax. So here comes the ditto. Uh, obviously, I gotta go Scarm here. Even if he rapid spins. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm just debating whether or not with hacks. My best play here is Tarus, even though I know he's going to go to Zacian. Um, what it does is, if he goes for... If he goes for an attack here and I get fully paralyzed, the only thing that could 2 kill me is Wild Charge. Wild Charge would put me in range of me copying and him sweeping. And so, like, I think this guarantees the game. Especially because he's swords dancing, it's just guaranteed over now. Um, all I gotta do is sack drill and copy this. I, I guess I could whirlwind because if he is substitute, he'd need two drones of hacks though. Um, or maybe he has quick attack, but I mean, quick attack doesn't matter. Um, I just need to not get hacked on the wrong turn. He doesn't know I have whirlwind apparently. But him giving me plus six has already sealed the deal. Yeah. Um, I figured if he did get the axes, whatever. Uh, because Ditto can't copy Ditto. Uh, unless I'm forgetting something. Ditto cannot copy Ditto. So. Uh, if he. Let's just whirl in here. In case he did have substitute. So I guess he realized that Ditto can't copy Ditto. Um, problem with that is now, well, I'll roost first. Roost first because I need to, um, because I'm going to be copying Drill. Uh, copying Drill, what am I saying? Yeah. I'm going to be going to Drill to, um, actually, I don't need to. Yeah. I don't need to. Because it's, it's crunch um, Zacian. That's the only thing he can do to me. And so basically what he's trying to do is get the ditto to a point where, yep. So, um, he knows I have a whirlwind now. So I'd assume he'd just go for crunch. Um, but the moment he goes to his ditto and goes for roost, which I'd assume that he'd use, um, the game is over. Or he copies with whatever he goes to. So yeah. Um, here the best play for him to do is go for roost uh, even if he doesn't go for roost or well, whirlwinds doesn't matter what's going on oh can't copy ditto right oh so basically um skarm can't be touched that's annoying one more turn of okay now i have a now i can get messed up oh i can just transform i'm tripping yeah So hopefully, because he runs out of the whirlwinds here. Okay, perfect. Nice game. Mm -hmm. Though I guess if he had quick attack, that could have been bad. Um, so that actually, I uh, misplayed there. I didn't account for, um, didn't account for stuff like that. Quick attack Zacian is a thing, and so um, 
I didn't have to allow him to get up the layers. I could have clocked. I could have locked the game down. I just didn't think it was possible for me to lose in any situation. But then it hit me. Okay, quick attack. And so if ideally, if you want, if you want to get, if you can win without the opponent even getting the attack off, it's usually better um, than the passive, especially with playing around with Thunder Wave and all that. Um, but basically, what I was do, trying to do is set up a situation where my Ditto get got to come in for free. But I guess, you know, in hindsight, I could have just went hard to Excadrill. When my Skarmory was countering, forces Asian to attack me, and then I just swept him. So, yeah, that was just a horrible series of plays there. So we're going to grab one more to wrap this live up as we get Mark's Feces. Um, very interesting team. Um, with the G-Max Zard, I uh, gotta keep T-Tide up most specifically for that, and then I think Skarmory in conjunction with Drill deals with everything else. Volk hasn't really gotten to do much, and so I'm gonna aim to do so in this one. Um, and this is definitely the game for it, mm, kind of, because he has Sandro's Drill and T-Tar, and I don't have a lot of setup fun is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I don't have anything I can go with as versus. Nothing. Maybe Zacian somewhat. Yeah, this isn't the game for it. So I'm gonna just try to ravage him with drill. <laughs> it shouldn't be too complicated considering he has mono loose to extra drill. Um, I'm gonna have to keep Lunal at the utmost because of Crawdon's potential aqua jet. Beyond that, I should be straight and so uh phase one you don't want don't wanna got don't wanna get aqua jetted turn one. And so, unfortunately, I have to go Lunala to start this game off. Uh, but it covers Zard and it covers um, covers Zard and it covers Crawdont, because Crawdont starting this game off will be hectic for your boy, as um, he leaves with Zekrom. Now, this is really problematic as well, just since in general. Um, I am tempted to double hard to my Excadrill here for two reasons. I'm expecting his T-Tar to come in. Um, and if he is choice, he's gonna go for Volt Switch. Um, yeah. And so it just covered both. Um, and so what this allows for me to do is go for Rapid Rapid Spin. I think Rapid Spin is my best play. No, actually, Rock Slide is better. Uh -huh. So obviously Charizard is the only, but there's nothing he could have gone to. He'd have never gone hard Zacian. He'd either went hard Crawdon, sack Titar, or go to Zard. Um, and so if he went hard Z um, Zacian, is just a king, and I deserve to lose. But him losing Charizard there is a big deal because now he's at the wake of my Excadrill. He has he's at the absolute wake, and, and he's super super weak to my Zacian. Uh, my Ditto copying Zacian, and so. Um, I'm not gonna hard to my Skarmory here. That's far too risky of a play. Uh, mm, actually, is it? Uh, sometimes these run Shadow Claw, so Dynamax Shadow Claw might do me in. But I have Ditto to copy his drill, so I suppose I don't have to be super concerned about it. I'm I'm just trying my best to have Volk do something, and it's just not it's not the wave, and so. Behemoth Blade here. Look how much I took from that. Nice. Thanks, Volk. Thanks. 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 <laughs> I think maybe Bulky Volk. I don't know. I can see this Volk being the wave too. I'm going to say Bulky Volk might be the wave down here, but no, that's not necessarily true. But the Lunala turn, I didn't want his Tyrant Attire coming in just willy nilly. I'm very surprised he went Zekrom, considering what just happened and considering the fact that he cannot afford for my extra drill to come back in right. Pretty sure he's choice, so if my extra drill comes back in on him, this is a done dealio. Um, I'm gonna go to T-Tar anyway, because it's the weakest link and it activates my extra drill, and I don't get two killed by Outrage if he goes for that, I don't think. Well, it might be close, so Zekrom, especially if he's adamant. Uh, I don't think he'd be banded because I mean you stayed in versus Loon, which could have just put you in your mis put you out of your misery when you have an entire tire and a tire. So, um, 
doubt that that's the case. Perhaps he assumed that I was the bulky defog variant, but I don't see my opponent coming back. Uh, oh, well, oh, sorry, my boy feces. My boy feces said, no, no, we are back in this mom. Okay, so, oh, my boy is wavy. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. That you know what I am sorry. Um, and so mm, I'm thinking of sacking Volk versus controlling the sand. Uh, mm, I don't need Volk. Oh shit! Doesn't matter because I have a ditto, but oh shit! I wonder if he has Aqua Jet. Yeah, that boy DD awkward shit. <laughs> I know you're mad, bro. I know you're mad. Uh, mm. I guess I just win with extra doing ditto now. Um, and so we'll go Skarm Ori, and I'll counter hard because I don't need full health for anything, particularly because this the only thing that can hit me now is his uh, Zekrom. Uh, we all know what what Zekrom invites, and so I'm gonna crunch. I mean, counter. Uh, if he did it again, I could have just went for a uh, whirlwind. So, and f when I show counter, it drops the likelihood of him wanting to go for um, the attack the next turn. But even if he did, because he's burnt, it wouldn't have done anything. So counter was pretty safe there. I'll be got guaranteed gotten rid of the crowd on, uh if he stayed in it. I had another run of burn and. He would have lost his speed boost so next time he came in he would have been essentially worthless a walk through for two my guys and so now it's not quite as safe as it once was to just go to my uh, my tyranitar because the sand we need that we need that uh and so i'm going to sack not sack but i'm gonna go to the weakest link in lunala um, it's not like not good or anything like that, but it's just not as important. Um, so uh, let's say a scarf, which I'm assuming is the case, because again, why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And so with earthquake, I've swept. With ditto, I've swept. Um, don't need stealth rocks. I mean, I, I guess I don't, I don't need anything really. Uh, yeah, don't need anything. The spike was all I needed as the earthquakes wisely. Um, I don't want you controlling the sand, bro. I'm going to my Lunala, which probably eats. Mm -hmm. Eats. Excellent. And I die to sand. Excellent. 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 So we, um, we get to Moon Blast here. And so Zayshan obviously we can Dynamax Rocks Fall and brutalize him. Um, so drill obviously our best. I guess we could go as Zekrom, but drill's gonna be our best play because we have a hard counter to that. Um, hard, hard counter, and we get to control the sand. If he goes to anything but drill, um, our drill obviously knocks him out. And so um, this forces him to earthquake as we go to Skarm. Um, it may even force him to Dynamax, which would be even better because then Skarm just he can't score dance, he can't do nothing. Oh yeah, he set up the sand, so okay. Forgot about that. Either way, um, I'm assuming he's gonna go for Swords Dance here if he has it. Oh, you hate to see it, bro. You hate to see it. And so I'm gonna spike up. Um, could just have Swords Dance Wild Charge. That's not something I've seen with this combination of move. You know, Sweet Secrets for Bamit Blade Wild Charge, but I mean, it's possible. Um, He's just not threatening, man. It's just not threatening. Skarm reaps back, even though it's just Corviknight. But Skarm just has a classicness to its walling. Like, there's just a pureness to it that you can't help but love. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wise words from a decent man back when I was trying to put a ring on Alicia's hand. So let's sack this. Let's go to Drill and do what Drill does. Because we have those three layers of spikes, and I'm assuming that's a life orb drill. Um, he has to think twice. Think twice before he makes his decisions. 
Um, mm -hmm. At this point, I mean, I guess I just sweep him with outrage anyway. But the smartest place to go to Skarmory uh, because you know don't underestimate Dynamax. Dynamax is a thing, so I wouldn't be surprised if he Dynamax Max Rockfall here. Um, but again, my drill is just too big of a problem for him to even have played around with that. And so all I needed to do here was Whirlwind to get rid of his drill, especially if it's Life Orb. I'm expecting him to forfeit anyway. But the moment I catch his drill, obviously I'm going to be scarfed and sand rushed. So like, he swept. Um, I mean, I guess I could have just done that <laughs> now when I when I switched to Skarm. Like, I don't know why my mind... That's something I need to get my practice back in because my mind is like defensively calculating the game and so for example right there I could have sacked my extra drill went to ditto and guaranteed one rather I went the defensive route of beating him um, I guess there could have been some new move uh, that I don't know about that could have lost me the game I doubt it or he there's like some priority ground move that I don't know about did it gets blown away if he saw his answers here and I you know, you know who the fuck knows but probably not the case so I want to thank you guys truly for watching. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this ride. Uh, hit the like button down below because you know this shit was way good. Hit the like button down below. Share this love um, as the academy has been growing tremendously. And I'll, it's all thanks to you guys. Um, so thank you again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.